and welcome to the next episode of our playthrough and we're continuing with immersive engineering today but i did a thing i sorted out the ore gate stuff for making sure we don't run out of creosote or coke so we've now got two inputs to this machine it's currently off because we've got enough of everything our logic gate basically is saying if we've got a redstone signal on c or B. So C or C. One moment. Have I done this wrong? C or B? No, A or B. So why is C on? So if we get a redstone signal from A, turn it on. If we got a redstone signal from A or B, turn it on. If we get a redstone signal from just B, turn it on. I have done that wrong. That doesn't need to be on. So this is A coming in here and this is B coming in here. So if it's A, turn it on. If it's B, turn it on. If it's A and B, turn it on. If it's anything else, you could turn it off. That's what this does. Um, coke uh, if we run if we get less than 3000 coke we're going to turn it on and if we get less than 3000 milli uh, 1500 buckets of creosote oil it will turn back on because the next step is we want to get the ph phenolic ph phenolic resin into our bottling machine and phenolic resin comes from a refinery of creosote and accept accept this stuff this stuff comes from a refinery of ethanol and silver plates. So we need silver plates. Well, we've got lots of silver, I think. Silver? Let's have a look at silver. Silver. We have got 22,000 silver, so we should be all right. We just need a recipe for silver plates by the looks of it. Let's quickly do that. Uh, silver plate recipe, please. We want it in our rolling machine. No, in our multi-servo press, I think is what we'll do. And we will put that into our multi-servo press. I'll go past it. Nope. Okay, keep going. Silver plates. So we can make silver plates and we make the acetaldehyde with ethanol. Now there's two types of ethanol. There's an ethanol from immersive engineering, which is from an industrial fermenter, which is another big machine. Or there's ethanol from pneumatic craft, which is made in a thermo pneumatic processing plant with yeast and some biological. Now, I think I'm going to go this route. Yeast comes from another one of these thermo pneumatic things with water and mushrooms. Well, we can make mushrooms in a phytogenic insulator. We can make the sugar. I think we've got tons of sugar cane. Let's have a quick look. Sugar. Yeah, we've got a quarter of a million sugar. So we can make sugar, so we can get the yeast, so we can get the ethanol. So I'm going to set all of these machines up now. How much fun. Right, phytogenic insulator set up making mushrooms. And I've given it all the augments I can do. So that's just going to start filling with mushrooms. We have our thermo pneumatic pressure plants with some vortex tubes on the bottom. I now need to get some pressure, pressure tubes, pressure pipes, pressure, whatever these are, pressure tubes. Uh, I'm going to pop one in the middle. I'm going to come down and I think we have this tube here. So let's go this way. They're going to link up. Oh, I think it is. And, aha. So these should now be getting some pressure. Wish they are. Let's get a... Oh, a, oh hang on. Uh, let me get my wrench. You can, if you right click on these pipes, like there, it disconnects it like that. Look, see, so we don't lose any pressure because I actually need to move that. So if I shift right click now, because I want a heat sink on the bottom of those. Heat sinks. I've got some of them. So I need two of them. I want to put a heat sink on the bottom of you. No, on the bottom, please. There. Thank you. And another heat sink there. Right now we should be able to run our pipe back up and there. Not there. There. And now if I right click you, you're connected. So these should now be getting hot. So our thermo pneumatic Dubri Watsits are now getting some temperature. They don't need pressure, apparently. Oh, we can insulate it with the old uh, the old trick with the glass that we did when we set up all of this. So now what I want to do is I need to pipe water into this thing and the mushrooms because oh we're not piping mushrooms back in aha uh -huh. so i think laser io for this bit so let's get laser io um because i want to say uh you're gonna input from the top as well and you're gonna output 
on that side. So we are going to extract, uh, I need my cards on me. We're going to extract here and we're going to do that as quickly as we can, I think. Um, yeah, we'll do that as quickly as we can. We're going to extract and then we're going to insert on the down here, but with a higher priority. So if I link you two together, uh, you to you, this will now be cycling around the mushrooms. So this will slowly fill up. It is. Now, the other thing I can do here is I can insert on that side as well. And I hope I'll be able to insert mushrooms. And the way I can check that is let me just give this a higher priority for now and see if mushrooms go in here. And they do. Excellent. So I could take that priority back down. So when this fills up with mushrooms, eventually more mushrooms will go in here. Next job is water. And we can hopefully do that by doing this. And now we have water and mushrooms and enough heat. We have problems. Too much heat. Oh, remove some heat from the machine by adding cold blocks or conductive blocks around this machine. Ah, okay. So my vortex tube is too good. Does it need a vortex tube then? <laughs> Let's let that cool down. So that's cooling down now. This might not need any sort of pressure or anything. Mm. So now we're coming into the range where it's starting to process. You've got 64, you've got seven. So this is starting to build up now because that's full, you see? So we're getting more in here. And I think by the looks of it, we don't actually need a vortex tube on this. Looking at that. Right, so not enough heat. Interesting. So I do need a vortex tube, but I need to cool the thing around it down as well. Interesting. It's at 27. We're insulating it. Um, will insulating it actually just do the job, you think, to take it up? Because it's poorly insulated. If I could surround that, will that go up? I don't think that's making it go up at all. No, it doesn't. Okay, so we need to put the vortex tube on, but might have the vortex tube not be particularly efficient. Um, I should leave that block there, though. Oh, no, I need to put cold blocks around this, don't I? So vortex tube back. It should be possible. Vortex tube back. You can go back. You can connect again you're now going to be too hot by far so what happens if we put some ice around it no idea i want to be able to get to the block though ah that's bringing it back down that's bringing it back down one packed ice on there the vortex tube is not too hot is that going to be enough one packed ice not quite so another packed ice well how are you meant to cool this thing down you need it to get it slightly warm oh it is coming down a bit what if i put some ice next to that top temperature is going down aha so it looks like adding ice to the bottom of your vortex tube cools the vortex tube down so it isn't as efficient and then I can probably get rid of you on the top and we should stabilize at some sort of temperature. It's 54, 55, the vortex tube, top temperature is 57, 56. That looks like the way to do it. So I'm going to leave this run. Piece of ice on the bottom of your vortex tube cools the whole vortex tube down and this isn't insulated. So we seem to be sitting at around 57. Okay, Whew. you keep it up with all of this because I'm not. So now we want to take the yeast into another thing so let's actually put a mechanical pipe and set you to pull that's now pulling the yeast oops into this guy excellent and ethanol is made again it needs to be in that it looks like it doesn't matter what temperature the ethanol oh temperature needs to be between 30 and 60 so same setup we want a piece of ice on the bottom of this guy by the looks of it no on the bottom please okay and you should now have your temperature coming down excellent you've got yeast in there and we now need to get some sugar or something in here. Do we just pipe in from the system? What do we have a lot of? Sugar seems to be the thing. So if I just put a import, bus, an export bus, an export bus on there, how many channels are we running at? 14, 25 in there uh, with a lime cable, lime cable, thank you very much, and a crafting card and sugar. So a uh, crafting card, crafting card, and we want to craft sugar. So sugar, sugar, and this guy should Oh no, connect it, excuse me. Uh, right, you should come online, online. Good, and now you should get sugar. If I put some acceleration cards in, one, two, three, you're getting sugar. You're at the required temperature. You just don't have enough, I don't think, yeast. Oh, there we go, and we've got ethanol, aha! So, mushrooms, mushrooms and water turning into yeast, yeast and sugar turning into ethanol. And we are going to get an import bus, uh, import bus, uh, and some acceleration cards. I'm going to pop you on top. We're going to speed that up. We're going to get a lime cable to go on there and there. And ethanol should be in our system. Check that out. Haha. -ha!
Ethanol done. Refinery time. So heavy is the, uh, this. The, okay, let's just build it, shall we? Uh, and get it wrong. I think it was. I think. I can't remember. Hopeless. Two, one, two. Two, one, two. Two light engineering block here. Two. And then fluid pipe. Okay. Uh, four of them. One of them. Four. Actually, that was the heavy. So it's going on the light engineering side. Two, three, do, 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 do. We're looking at it like that. That's probably a heavy engineering block, right? Yes, that's a heavy engineering block. So light engineering block, heavy engineering block, and redstone. Okay. And then the next level is the rest of those. Uh, duh. Like that, like that, like that, like that. And then we boot that and it rakes the refinery. And that's facing the wrong way. I think I want that facing. Hmm. Let's just um let's just switch this round, shall we? First of all, I was too far that way. I think this is right. Yes. And yes, because we need two refineries because we're going to take the ethanol and silver plates to make the acid, acid, uh, this stuff. And then we take that stuff in silver plates. No, hang on. And then we take <sighs> then we take that stuff and creosote to make the phenolic acid. So this one's going to be for the acetylate stuff. So we have two inputs and uh, input there. Yeah, two tanks. It looks like two inputs there and an output there. And power goes there. Right. We need flux plug. Flux plug. So this is going to be on the processing network. Refinery one. And this is going to be refinery two. Refinery two. Now we just need to work out the inputs and outputs. This is getting exciting. I must admit, I am getting excited because I'm doing lots of fun stuff. But this is... I've, I've moved this refinery around. This refinery is going to be doing the ethanol into acetaldehyde. So essentially ethanol with a silver plate catalyst turns into this stuff. So I've got my ethanol that we're producing over there coming in fire straight out of the system. And you can see that that's going in here. I need a silver plate. Silver plate. Uh, let's craft two of them because I'm going to need one for the next operation as well. Now, apparently, these catalysts do not get consumed. So if I pop you in there, we now have it set up so it should make this uh, acetalaldehyde. But I've also got this set up to turn the machine on and off. So at the moment, when we have 100 buckets of phenolaic resin, which we're going to make in the other refinery, um, I want this machine to be off. So if I do that, it's now going to emit a redstone signal when we get 100 buckets of that phenoloic acid. So this is now running and making acetylhyde. And the reason I flip this machine around is because I now can output here and input into here. And I'm going to use our ultimate um, duh, 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 mechanical mechanical pipes because that should you can see that's got something in it now and we should be able to do that and this machine should be getting the asset asset this stuff aha so this is going to keep running now until we make a hundred buckets of that resin the resin is made in this refinery uh you'll see here in the refinery with creosote oil. So I need to pump creosote oil into here. So we could put an import bus, sorry, an export bus on here. Uh, export, thank you very much. We will speed you up as fast as we can and we will get creosote, which we're making right at the beginning of the episode. Creosote oil, connect you to the system. So I've been doing this. Uh, what I do is I pop a cable there. I then pop a facade on top just to make it look pretty and another cable. And then if I go down here, I hope we have enough channels. There's my cable. And if I come there and then we go around here and we join you up to there, that should have brought that online. I just need to get out of here now. <laughs> come on up. So this should now be making phenoloic acid. Aha! And now we want to turn the machines down because they're very noisy refineries immersive engineering mute them excellent so this is making that phenolanoic acid that was making the other stuff so now we can output this into the system so we need an import bus popped on there and how many channels are we actually using on that cable now we haven't maxed out the channels have we 13 there 29 oh there we go we're gonna be all right 
let's uh, go down here. Let me just actually change this to be the the big cables because I can run that to there like that. And actually, I want to change that to be a big cable. Uh, yeah. And then we want to go. Where's our output going to go? So let's get a thin cable. You another thin cable. Go down here. Another thin cable. You can come this way and you can connect. And that should now be outputting. If I sped you up, whoops, output the lot. So we should now have that for, for, for this stuff. We've got 10 buckets of it. When we get to 100 buckets, this guy will turn off and everything will start to backstop. What do you reckon about that then? Not bad, is it? No. Making the Duraplast sheet is our next step. The bottling machine does this. When you input the right liquid, and if I was to have a hopper, say here uh let's put the hopper here and if i put my mold in there if i if i was to put in the act the debris what's it this stuff the phenolic resin it would then output the mold uh stop it under here fill it up create the sheet give me the mold and the sheet back so here's my plan i'm going to create a craft a crafting pattern which I've done here. I'm going to put a pattern provider, a uh, pattern provider down here. So um, pattern provider can go there, I think, with that pattern in it. This pattern has in it the mold and 0.25 buckets of the phenoloic resin. Okay, we are going to use laser IO um, to put the liquid so on the opposite to that, so west, we're going to do a fluid insert. So that should insert, and uh, hopefully there's a laser, good. That's going to insert the fluid into this thing. Uh, then up here, on top of here, we are going to have an item insert, which is going to insert on the west, good. Oh, and it's drawn the laser, so it, is, it, it, it should work, I hope. We're going to insert the mold in here, and we are going to do an extract. We're going to extract on the down. We're going to extract the fluid. We're going to ex extract the fluid. And we're going to extract the item. Okay. And I probably want to do that every tick, uh, I think. So we need some, some overclockers. Why can I not get to my back? That's worrying. Why can I not get into that through my hotkey? Uh, we'll fix that another time. Right. So overclockers on the down of our extract. I want to do that every tick. And the fluid should be fine. In fact, no, let's do the fluid as well. Uh, on the down, let's fill you up and let's do you every tick. Okay, let's... Oh, oh, and I've just remembered the other thing I want to do is I then want to have a, a extract, an item extract. And again, we're going to do that every tick. Uh, and that should take the resin and the mold. Oh, it hasn't drawn it. Okay, so we need a chest. I think I need a chest and then we will have a laser IO node underneath and we will have an item extract on the up every tick. Okay. And that was uh, extract. Let's extract on black and we're going to do on the down an insert on black. We're going to insert the items we just collect. So if we now link all of these up, not having access to my backpack is a little annoying, but we're doing okay. If we link all of these up, I have no idea whether this is going to work, by the way. Um, I just think it'll be a good a good thing to try so now i just need to connect my thing to the system uh how many channels have we got going through this pipe here five uh so let's take our lime channels and we will um go this way to connect you to the system if this works first time um i will sing a little song <laughs> There's no way this is going to work first time, by the way. I haven't tested it. I know you're all thinking now that I have tested this, but let's request a, um, let's request one of these guys. What's it? A duroplast, duroplast sheet. Uh, I've already got one, um, just to test that the actual machine itself worked. Let's craft one of them. Next. Oh, I haven't got the, uh, thing in the, that's it. Right. So craft one of them. Next. Start. Didn't do anything. Didn't do anything. Okay. So that didn't work. Change of plan. I'm going to leave the, uh, actually, let's change that to a hopper. Um, I'm going to put the thingamabob in here. I'm going to put the mold in here and we'll return it to here if this works. So the mold's going to go in there. It won't come out until the right liquid is in there. So my pattern now only has the quarter of a bucket of phenolic resin. That's got a uh, fluid extract on the down. Fluid extract. 
and that's got the fluid on the west insert and then i don't need you yet because i just want to see if that's going to work and that should end up with the thing in there let's try it uh do you do, what was it this guy let's try it next start and, and nothing so maybe maybe you can only put in one bucket at a time you can't put in quarter of a bucket so let's cancel that and let's try changing the recipe oh, look at all this look at this mess uh let me just sort my inventory out right that's a bit cleaner now so let's um go into here let's change this recipe let's make that um fair all right so let's take a whole bucket of you no one bucket thank you i want the liquid i don't want a bucket that's what i want I want a bucket of you will make four of you how do i uh, well let's just do one for now right and then we should be able to pop you in there right this time so you're still in there you're drawing the laser there You've drawn the laser there. Right, so we're now going to insert a bucket when we try and craft this. Start. Hmm. Why, why don't you do what I want you to do? Right, it's a tank time. Let's get a tank. Uh, yeah, you're there. Let's pop a tank on top of you. Ah, that got the resin. And now let's do our fluid extract and insert. Oh, okay. That actually worked. So laser IO, it wasn't... Oh, of course, it doesn't push, does it? This thing. It can't laser eye doesn't really read these things so let's take our pattern and set it back to a quarter tank uh let's pop you in there let's clear you and let's do the do this guy and let's add you to that but get rid of you and you and pop you down there and do that okay and pop you back in there and let's request another one uh do what's it craft one next start oh and i did i need to put you in there oh of course it's got a whole bucket in hasn't it so let's just get rid of that bucket so that's the four and then this should be the one i just crafted and if i put those in there that will complete that craft okay one last test um because i think that's going to work craft you next start and it did it okay now what would be re what would be really nice if i didn't break everything right the next step uh so everything's the same apart from uh I've got an extract on black from the chest, uh, an insert here back into the interface thing, the, the pattern provider, but denying the molds. And this has got an insert and black to put the mold back in here. I reckon it's going to work. Oh, I don't know. Um, let's, let's try and craft one and see what happens. Oh, I haven't got the mold in there, have I? <laughs> uh, mold, please. Let's pop you in there. Uh, it's got the stuff in. I see it's got that in there. So that should uh, that should now put the mold back in there. And we've got our Duraplast. <laughs> it works. It absolutely works. Oh, I love it. What happens if we try to craft 10 of them? No, let's do four. That's one bucket. We've got one bucket. It should craft four and it should just loop around, right? There's one. There's two. There's three. And stop. And craft completed. Oh, yes. And that means we should have everything we need to make the final part of our Nexus emitter, the Tesla coil. So we should be able to make this. So it's one of them, two of them, and one of them. So we should be able to put one of them in there, two of them in there. And one of them in there, and that gives us the advanced electronic component, which should give us everything we need. Oh, no, now we need to just craft that. Oh, we had everything for that. Okay. That means we've been able to craft the Nexium emitter. Ha! The Tesla coil was done, and now we can just pop you in there. We are getting closer and closer and closer. What's left to do, if we have a look at the quest book, uh, we have got... To do all of the nether blocks, we've got to do the awakened blocks and those things. And then we've got Master of Dragons and Master of the Elements and Master of the Universe left to do. But they'll have to wait until other episodes. I hope you've enjoyed this. We're getting there. Catch you in the next video.